Hi everyone, I'm Jane at Rock and Worms. Welcome, we're on another field trip outside in Loxahatchee, where I'm gonna show you how I make sifted cow manure, which is a vital component of my basic bedding mix for my red wiggler worms, okay? I did receive a couple questions about how I do it, so this is that video for you. All right, so first of all, it just starts with cow poop. This is right out of my pasture. I have uh, three cows, and this is what it looks like um, after it has actually dried a little bit in the pasture. And what I need to do is um, continue to let it dry so it can be you know, powdered and, and sifted. So we just put it out here on this large tarp, which uh, guess what? Yep, I picked it up out of the garbage and uh, brought it home and it's been working great. We just collect the manure, spread it out into larger clumps, and then as it dries, we just, you know, rake it and it breaks down into smaller pieces. It doesn't have to break down into this small, but sometimes it just happens in the drying process. Once the manure is completely dry, we just, you know, scoop it up and put it in a five gallon bucket and take it over to the cement mixer. I'm going to pass in front here, and I think you're gonna say hello to the chickens for just a minute while I come into the shed. All right, enough chickens, they're cute, aren't they? All right, so now we're in the big tractor shed. This is the uh, cement mixer I bought off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for a really good price, but you can buy them new at Harbor Freight for about $300. A lot of times you can use a coupon that's good for either 20 or 25% off. There's little bugs out here. Um, but your best deal if you are interested in something like this is to really haunt Facebook Marketplace and see if you can pick up one you know, super good price. Um, the, I do see them on there all the time because I can't help but look even though one is plenty for me. All right, so I have the sifted cow manure and I just pour it into the bowl. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to add in golf balls. Now the golf balls are gonna act as millstones. They're going to help the fins that are inside the drum continue to break up the pieces of dried cow manure and sift it into that fine powder that I'm looking for. So when I started off, I of course was trying to figure out how to break up the cow manure into smaller and smaller bits. And I tried driveway rocks. It was a disaster. I couldn't get the small rocks out of, out of the sifted cow manure. I tried tennis balls, which were large enough, but not heavy enough. And then finally, I came across the idea of using golf balls. I've been recently thinking that if uh, I'm just gonna dump these in, there's about 12 or 14 of them used golf balls. Um, I've been thinking about maybe um, seeing if I can get my hands on a, you know, throwaway croquet set and maybe those croquet balls would be a good use. But anyways, so they act as millstones. All right, so next I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on the screen top, and this is the same screening I use for my burritos. It's pool screen, window screen, and this screen is what's going to determine how fine the sifted cow manure is. And you can see how fine the screen really is. All right, so you can adjust that as you need to. All right, next I'm going to use four uh, mag magnets that I also bought at Harbor Freight for, I think two of them are like three bucks or something. So getting four of them was, you know, well under $10. And this just helps hold the edges of the screen down while I do the next part, which is the tricky part. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this the first time. I used to be able to do this in my sleep, but my husband's taken over doing this for me for the last month or so, so I'm a little bit out of practice. So what I'm doing is I'm using, uh, this is paracord, 
and I'm stretching it around and under the lip of the drum. And what that's gonna do is put tension on the screening to keep it nice and tight. So when the volume of the, of the, or the weight, I should say, of the golf balls and the chunks of cow manure hit the screen, it doesn't pop the screen off, okay? I did try it with just magnets on it, didn't work. But putting this kind of uh, garret almost around it does work. Now I have a bunch of excess uh, paracord. So I'm going to uh, just wrap this back and forth a couple times because I don't want that string getting in the way of, uh, you know, the uh, drum turning or the motor or anything else, taking no chances. All right, there we go. All right, we're almost uh, to the fun part. Next, I take this big, um, you know, I don't know, black plastic trough and I slide it under where I think it's gonna mainly catch the sift coming out, okay? And obviously I can adjust this as I need to um, when it goes. So the next part is, I'm gonna have to pass in front again, is I need to tilt the drum so it has a good angle so the sift will come out and into the catch basin. Now, because this is an older used machine, the um, gears here on the lever are a little worn. So I have to uh, use, pass in front again, I have to use a bungee cord to put a little tension on it to keep it from slipping off the gear and the drum popping up. So you know what? You save a few bucks, sometimes you gotta make some modifications. All right, we're gonna turn this on, ready? Go. All right, you can see what the concept is. And um, I'm getting some bigger pieces down here in the back because I do have a little bit of a hole here that developed over time. So I'm going to be replacing this screen uh, shortly, just so I don't get the larger um, bits out. Now, did I bring out, I don't think I did. Um, I was gonna bring out a little bunch of the sifted cow manure, but you've seen that if you've seen my videos. But you can see even in the few seconds that this was running, how much of the sifted cow manure actually came out. It's kind of like snow, right? It's nice and white and fluffy and it's no big deal. And then you go to bed and the next morning you wake up and your house is covered with snow. It, the fine stuff really does accumulate. Now I will show you one other tip or trick if you ever really want to do this kind of thing yourself is we're outside and we get a lot of wind. And what we found was the, uh, the fine powder was blowing all over the place and that isn't what we want to do. So um, what we did is just take large sheets of uh, the same cardboard I used to shred to make uh, pre-compost. And we basically, um, you know what? I don't actually know how my husband does it, but actually this goes around the machine here. How do you do it? You gotta show me. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. It goes in. Like I said, I have, I used to do this um, and then I stopped doing it because he took over, which was really great. And um, so I just use a couple pieces to uh, surround the machine where it comes out. And again, you can get the concept, right? Um, and what this does is, is when the powder comes out, instead of flying all over the place, it hits the cardboard and drops down. As you can see, there's, you know, cow manure dust on the, on the cardboard. So it does its job. And again, it just keeps things from flying all over the place. All right, so once 
I'm done sifting. You can hear the rooster, right? Uh, once I'm done sifting and all that's left is the really dry, ro rocky parts that just won't break up anymore, um, I take the sifted cow manure, I dump it into a five gallon bucket and I take it into the house where I start making my basic bedding. And just so you know, nothing gets wasted on a farm, right? The uh, bits that are too dry and hard to come out of the sift go into our plants. You know, they're, they're just a natural fertilizer. So I put them around the base of our trees, along with castings, right? So that's how I do it. Um, if you have any questions or issues, or you know, you wanna learn a little bit more about it, just uh, let me know in the comments. Also in the comments, if you have topics that you're particularly interested in me covering, please, you know, put it in there. I do read all the comments and, um, you know, I'll put your requests on a list. I already have a, a couple suggestions that people would like me to talk about in addition to the sifting of the cow manure. And just give me time, okay? Because, you know, it takes a little time for me to get to be able to do your request, but I absolutely will do my level best to get there, all right? I hope, uh, again, you found this kind of fun and, you know, a little field trip. And I hope you like and subscribe and share and do all that great stuff. I will see you on the next video. I am yours in the dirt, Jane.